they're hard to compare because they're like uh their wind conditions are completely different Three, but two, just because one, they're both from go. earthbound they're they're frequently compared and they're both floating and they both have really good air dodge that's really where a lot of the similarities so yeah that's pretty much it and oh, that's scream nice. pk fire that's not just also pretty similar even if like you can see a lot more dink um they both have like tippers and they're both reflectors. Yeah, I can see that. But I feel like Palatine's game plan doesn't change for a lot of characters, and that includes both Ness, Ness and Lucas. Where what Palatine wants to do is she wants to catch a jump, and unfortunately for Lucas, a lot of his safety in neutral comes from jumping. So as long as Hydra and Palutena can outrange him and outspace him, then Webb's probably going to have a hard But also, we've seen Webb put his back up, have his back up against the wall in a lot of situations and still make some pretty great games out of them. And this game starting off similar to many a game. Okay, wait, hold on. Webb... That was... God, these, like... It's like... How do I compare this? A lot of these strings, right? It's Nair into down tilt, into down air, into, like, a potentially another Nair. It's like, it's reminiscent of how... Like, a character like Sheik or uh, Pikachu or Joker will play, where they're just able to string aerials together in order to create a swarm. And Lucas's floaty nature and the fact that he has hitboxes that surround him better than at very least Sheik and Joker. Like and then also get kills off of them. Like this is a this is a this, is a, this character flies so much pressure. Like you're so scared with just one move hitting you because it's never just one. Us. Web chilling in shield and waiting for Hydra to start popping up a something that he's been doing frequently enough throughout the day and it's not stopping. He's short hop nearing alright. <laughs> Down tilt confirming to the grab and still getting that kill. 43%. One of the one of the definite chinks in uh, in Webb's armor is the fact that he's so aggressive out of shield or off of ledge and out of shields. Can we even prone to getting around uh, getting around that aggressive option, waiting at something like roll distance or wait, waiting on a platform in the case of Town and City, and just waiting for the challenge that's going to come? He doesn't do it all the time, of course. He's in Grand Finals for a reason. He knows how to mix things up. But when he can, he tries to play aggressive, which is odd, considering most people, I guess, tr consider Lucas a uh, zoner main, but that's a great, a great jump catch. And 105 is where Hydra's at at the moment. We need to start, we need to start to gain some ground. But PK Fire is always so hard to deal with, and at this percent, when it sends you so eggs. Fifty percent, but then up air coming from below the platform. Not killing just yet. High ceilings, thanks to. But I just got his dash back game on and his back air game moving, trying to stay safe. But landing with shield wasn't safe. As what takes game. Rope snake. Pretty clutch. Get it? Because 
He's the grab. He clutches things. Clutches people. Characters. He bites people. That's a clutch. I would call that like clutching them. Bites his nipples on them. He also doesn't have teeth, so it is. He's just a nom. Sure about that? Pretty sure. Uh, is, that kind of, is that canonical? I know, like you like. I know, like you mostly bites the grab stuff, but we're 100 percent certain that he doesn't. I'm, I'm just going off of looking at the model. I've actually never played Mother Three, but look at that. His mouth is open. I don't see teeth. Yeah. Also, Roy, by the way. Oh my, the boy. <laughs> the real boy. Fighting PK fire with fire. I'm running out of analogies. Yeah, Trinity did a really good job of keeping uh, Bluff on the ledge. It's like one of the things that maybe is really worse than getting off the ledge. Because like he has so many little, little like options of what he could do. One, two, three. Yeah, at the same time, he can start one of those tether cancels from a ledge and take you to the other ledge. Which is part of the reason you see Web be so aggressive off off of the ledge because he can turn himself around with magnet and go into one of his aerials or just go into rope snake or something of that like in addition to the four main matchups also he's dead oh he's not dead i thought he was dead for sure i was wondering if i wasn't using pk thunder because it's really good at like topping roy from the dancing like that mm -hmm. uh, down smash is just a good it's good enough at two framing where you're allowed to reset and do something that requires a little bit more setup <laughs> ooh, ooh. i apologize i'm in the future i forgot you're in the past i'm in the past <laughs> it wasn't the mega past you're in the, the kind of past the future is not with roy as Web is currently up three stocks to one, and it looks like the Jets aren't slowing down at all. Oh. That was great DI to avoid the Jer. Yeah, mixing up that DI is like... Well, the last time Hydra was doing it, it was against Char Charizard predominantly, where DI is hard to like, convince yourself it's worth it, since if Upwards DI and or up and out and in are all kind of still caught because of Charizard having a big old tail. Mm -hmm. But Lucas is small enough and floaty enough where combos are... Combo DI is becomes, becomes a super pro... Nice. Thanks. Well, you're not allowed to go off... You're not allowed to be off stage against Lucas. If you get Thunder 2, if you get with him more than once, it's going to be an instant kill. Because like it doesn't send you particularly high. Honestly, it sends you the most horizontal angle. So either you hope for the uh, the stage check or you just die. And Roy having such little resources, yeah, die is more frequent the option you have to cheat. Mm -hmm. And it's not like um, Hydro was playing like particularly conservative. He could play particularly conservative to the point that he could actually survive, or that he was staying on stage. Like super well. Jesus. <laughs> and another, another back out and Joker. Oh. Sure, yeah, man. Low key, I think. Like, I don't think this matchup's free. Hmm. Like, Joker doesn't. Especially without the ability to camp with guns as effectively as before, since down gun got like pretty hard. Like the the way that Joker plays and his like poking and with punishing game gets really hard at round characters like Ness and Lucas, who kind of just put out hitboxes indiscriminately sometimes. 
It's like, oh, you're in front of me. So here's a fair and a zare and... Web? And, yeah, that he can... More TK Thunder use. He intentionally waited, because he knew that if he, uh... Do it... Like, directly out of, uh... Out of hit stun, so he just, just he decided to wait to see if he would actually do it, and then get the loop on it and get him onto the stage. That was really smart. And PK Thunder 2 destroys uh, Joker's tab, and since that's the only option he has, as so long as Joker doesn't have a jump, and you can take the jump with PK Thunder just as easily, so. Yeah, uh, Joker's one of the few characters that's really affected by the whole one second, uh, the whole one second uh, freeze out on grabbing the ledge with his upbeat after getting hit. Sorry, I have to complete that thought. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I appreciate you talking. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm really tired. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I, was, I just kind of expected you to stop at some point, but you keep going and I'm so happy. <laughs> These down tilts, like they poke so much farther than than I expect. Maybe Lucas is like a size six, and Ness is a size five. Oh man! Oh man! Is that it? Oh! Yeah, that's the hail mary where you just go for. Oh my god! <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, you could get a kill confirm off of it, but. Lucas just has these tools that can, like, characters that linger off stage for a long time. Characters like, uh, oddly, like Bayonetta, or Lucas, or Palutena, or Pikachu, or either perhaps. Yeah. Can give Joker a hard time, like, when edge guarding him with Arsene or with grappling hook. Because even though the neutral is. Like, Joker has a really strong neutral and is able to make up a lot of ground thanks to Arsene and the damage output that he has. Like, if he just, if he puts himself in a bad spot off stage once, sometimes he can just die like that, right yeah. there. <laughs> Love is like, man, you guys don't have enough faith in me. This is totally going to be a win, you know, just watch. Wow, yeah. And I'm going to win. You threw that three out right up on the board. Um, I'm not sure if Hydra's gonna, what Hydra's gonna do to respond to this. He hasn't gone, like, Palo at all the set so far, and I'm not really sure why. Um, assuming he has- He went Palo game one. Did he go Palo game one? He did, yeah, and he so got clapped. Oh, I'm so tired, I, I just completely, like, blocked that out. One, two, three, Palo, Roy, Joker, and- Oh, he hasn't gone Wool. That's what he has. Yeah, he has not gone Wool. Right. And uh, I feel like that might be the next character we're gonna see, because- Oh, uh, Hydra's yeah, he's going Palo. He's going Palo game one. Oh, you're apparently. in the future. Yeah, I can see. No, I'm not that kind of future. I'm in the moderator, tournament uh, organizer future where I can okay. see what what they're doing on Smash GG. Fair enough. So, Web uh, banned battle, struck battlefields. Um, what else? Yeah, just starting PS2. Insider information and a restart. Uh, true finals came a lot quicker than I thought. That set one was like that was 15 like minutes. minutes. Yeah. It's players deciding to speed run grand final. Devin, how long how long is the set so far? If you're like paying attention. Asking me. Uh, not Devin. Is uh. at just hitting 14 minutes right now. So it was basically 14 a 13 minutes. minute set. <laughs> okay. Thirteen minute three zero. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Gotta go fast. But no Sonics on this screen. We'd both know it'd be a lot slower if there was. <laughs> True. That's so frustrating. Like, why can't? Like, why can't Sonic play fast and also be fast? Why does he have to play slow and be fast? That's because if you don't have to, if you're fast, you'd be the enough, best character in the game. <laughs> yeah, you'd be the best character in the game, and if you're fast enough, where you engage unless it's on your terms, but your terms are extremely limited. 
it makes it really hard to like play quickly. Yeah, his it's his design makes makes him uh, what is it <sighs> makes it more rewarding to pick your engagements very selectively since you can spend easily like two, three, four minutes going from one corner to another since like Sonic has so many options to get out of the corner. Yeah. That just is annoying that like Sonic can't be a cool character. He can only just be have like cool clips sometimes, intermittent like five minutes of spin dash jump down air. Spin dash jump down air. Well no, maybe if spin dash didn't have invincibility on <laughs> you're allowed to have good moves otherwise. But I, I think as long as he has a real spin dash that lets him like get across the other side of the stage and the only counter option is being above him and not like at which point he just runs away from you to the other side of the stage and then spin dash again it's not really like a good option. <laughs> Sigh. I mean spin shot's cool. It's a cool thing. It's like yeah, no, it's like if you're above him or you're on a platform above him, how much you can do to like really contest that. He just has to go to the other side of the stage and then wait. And this is the way that a character that doesn't have to engage you twice. Well, that doesn't have to engage you, but doesn't have to engage on any of your own terms. Ah, Hydra's in the bathroom. Yeah. Hydra's take, take. taking yeah. his time, taking a moment. That's fine. I can I can wallow at how Sonic is really annoying <laughs> and really frustrating. Is that about the fact that Sonic's F Smash is like one of the smashes in the entire game and it's also up to the game and it hits the ledge? <laughs> yeah. The man's got rubber arms. Well, definitely monkey do Luffy. Oh yeah, I guess I just back. Go go gadget. Stretchy punch. All right, power. Well, came let me out with Sonic. Uh, <laughs> you said you said gotta go fast, and that's my autopilot. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> All right, sick. Oh my god, the snake, dude. Snake. Right in the chat. Does Rope Snake have teeth? <laughs> None that texture, apparently. Apparently, <laughs> they're invisible teeth. Should, um. Should Rope Snake apply a poison debuff to after that he bites? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just 0.1% every second? Jeez. Oh, riot. Hey, rope snake, but I huh? Is he fucking dead, bro? Oh god, I'm sorry. Yeah, he is fucking dead, bro. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> You're good, bro. Jeez, dude. What? Like. Oh, god. It's just so much damage. Did you like. Like, how quickly do you think a Z-Burn wears up? Uh, I don't know. But luckily, he, I, you can get it pretty easily changed. Because Geo is in Jersey. Yeah. Geo slash Levi slash Rudy now also does the pairs. If you want to break quarantine, I can probably go for some controllers. <laughs> yeah. Which is it an essential like service? Them. Central service GameCube controller repair. Oh man, he's dead! Is what I would say. He didn't have that nice mash. I got baited. Oh, he had the air dodge, but he downed it the wrong way. The one just off of that raw fair. And he starts off the stock landing a landing up air. Like, I know he didn't get as much off of it, but like, one landing up air can easily lead to like 30 more, if not death. Like, he almost died to that back air. But, oh my see. god. And he'll still little too, but it's like, yeah, he just read that, uh, he just read that. 
like super well. It's not, it doesn't heal enough to make it not worth it to put out things like explosive flames. It Ooh, is also mine? worth it to keep doing that because you neg to keep absorbing it because you don't have to deal with the hitbox anymore. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely Because like explosive flame, uh, the way that it works is unless you absorb like the, the very last hitbox, you only heal like eight or nine percent because it's like once you once you take one of the hitboxes in, you deactivate the, the whole move. Yeah. It's like um, shielding links, uh, links up B, where if you block one hit, you, the entire thing deactivates. Yeah. Only difference is if you shield one hit of this, it doesn't go away. Yeah. Oddly, but whatever. Hey, speaking of. I can of, mean, drain. Yeah, just really make Palutena a bad character. Well, she wouldn't be bad, but Explosive Flame would be eerie. You know, auto radical on the other hand, is definitely a move they throw out willy-nilly in this matchup, because that will heal Lucas for almost 25. Yeah. But, but like, you always also want to do it, because if you clip their jump once, then suddenly, like, never mind. Yeah. Down to also, I didn't grab. know when he died. I didn't notice when Hydra died, like, the second time. Um, he got... The first time he got back thrown, the second time he got uh, fared uh, doesn't sweet spot points. from yeah, mid-stage. Nice. And the third time he got up thrown. Having a kill confirm having a kill throw that you can confirm into is so good. Yeah. Cause it's not like it's not like a move like Bowser Fair or Bowser side or like Samus up throw or like whatever other kill throws where you kind of have to like condition into it. This is like, you want to block my falling aerials because you want to be aggressive, but also you can't block at 150 because I'm going to also grab you and kill you. So it's either like take this combo that can kill you or take this grab that can kill you. And it's a coin flip, whichever one you go for. It's Smash 4. We're playing Smash 4 again. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's very weight dependent. Which yeah. Which means, like, depending on the character, but clearly, like, Palutena is one of the characters that's very vulnerable to this. Like, he does have options, and he's actually gotten out of it before. But it's really, like, a 50 50 where he has to guess what Web's gonna try to do. And if he guesses wrong, he's gonna die. Yep. On bigger, on bigger characters or heavier characters, you just confirm into its raw smash attacks at a down tilt. Like he was doing on Charizard, on, for majority of the set, he would just do down smash or F smash out of the down It's just like, he kills even earlier. Yeah. Nice people with these usage. My web. Yeah, he, he's always... He, he's not as frequent with PK freeze, but... When he uses it, he tries to land it, or at the very least, make it a little more, make it a, a lot more, uh, put a lot more. Something that Web has been doing a lot is like he's really been punishing Hydra in terms of the stages because Hydra hasn't really been utilizing Lead all that much to get back. He's almost always trying to get back onto the stage because while it's true that Lucas can't really punish it that super well, uh, there's still things he can do to kind of keep stacking damage and keep a uh, hydro disadvantage. True. It's nope, some good auto radical. Get that jump just like you said. Oh wow, he went super deep. Yeah, he could have survived if he had gone straight up, but he didn't want to risk getting down there clearly. So he went he tried to go directly for the ledge and he screwed up his angles so much. I feel like this uh um, Hydra is Facing the cost of at the very of web playing multiple Palutena's, not just today, but also just in Tri-State because Jersey has a fuck ton of. A lot of the times, Lucas will to get around with Lucas ledge pressure with like down air and PK Thunder. He'll just teleport right to stage, but because he's already played Palus like Spiro, who figured that out and started teleporting to platforms and to center stage and utilizing its low landing, its uh, low ending. 
Webb has started to see this already today and mentally prepare for. Okay, they can teleport. They can teleport past me and above me, so I should be prepared for stuff like that. And it's like it's already mentally conditioned to prepare for that mix-up. Meanwhile, this is the first time I believe Hydra's playing him today. Yeah, no, Webb got knocked into the losers super duper early, so never actually had the chance to play him. Um, they have played before, I think at one of the earlier uh, Wi Fi's. Uh, but I don't recall exactly what happened. I think I did. But I'm not 100 percent sure. And again, Auto Reticle coming in clutch. Um, and PK Thunder 2 for Lucas isn't as strong as it is from Ness, where it's going to need instant kill, but it puts him in a bad position. Oh, wow, that backer's still hit. I'm kind of surprised because he looks pretty. It, he popped up super high and it didn't look like a full hop reap. Hydra has caught his way for the first lead of Grand Finals and True Fun. Yeah. A Wednesday only Xeno is slowly slipping away by the second. <laughs> it looks like Web is looking for a dash attack out of that down tilt, but not gonna be. not gonna be getting it. The up there is still gonna take that kill. Ooh, that was great timing. Uh, Web was playing a really dangerous game, uh, getting up on the F on the up smash because that would definitely kill them if they clipped them. You have to have a lot of faith in your uh, in your timing to, to avoid that. And certain characters do have a different uh, different neutral get up timings. Like I think Palutena is one of those characters that have like an extra frame or something like that. Ooh, he rolls past it that time, not risking the explosive flame, but Hydra in in proper position for it. As you see a couple more backers starting to watch. Nice, nice. Yeah, that'll do it. It was a very well placed um fire. Explosive flame by uh by Hydra. Very nice. There we go. Two you can tell, like he started um when he started getting uh Hydra started getting Age, he was a lot more aggressive with his range options, um, and he just made it so that every time that trying to reestablish any kind of stage control or put any pressure on Hydra, he had a, an explosive flame just waiting for him right there and then, and that made it so that he had to shield or he had to try to approach in a sloppy fashion, and he was able to push him back, and eventually that netted him the kill. Yeah, Lucas, we've been been shown a clinic of how safe Lucas can be and how much damage he can pull it, put out out of like out of shield options and his kill power. But at the end of the day, Lucas has similar struggles as most other zoners where like a lot of his moves are like push him back in terms of his drift or uh, like require him to be at some sort of distance and he has some trouble like just getting forward and getting all of his real damage and real uh, lead uh, or at least grow how to grow a lead and getting that like getting all of his combos off yeah so having these hitboxes out to put put uh, put web and shield or force awkward jumps to contort around hitboxes like those auto reticles or the explosive flames that were off stage even if he's healing off of them, because he's off stage, there's plenty more damage to be gained than there is to be lost by that little bit of heal. Yep. So the fact that like the shield pressure that weapon put out is kind of incredible, but it's not help. It's not helping him actually like approach and get in. Like he still has to make that work to get past Palu's uh, hitboxes and fences because she has much better buttons at a range than Ness does. Uh, Lucas does. Sorry. So she can barely keep play like, keep away the whole time using the trample in there and all of her other moves to keep uh, Lucas from really getting in and boxing the way that he wants to. But once it gets in, it's gonna be really bad for her. So she's gotta be super careful. Yeah, especially since Lucas is a fairly like he's he's a kid. He's fairly short. Oh wow, that backer is uh, made it made it a combo into up. Uh, since Lucas is fairly short and Palutena rises with so many of her aerials, she's going to be super reliant on 
falling, uh, falling fair and back, uh, fair and bare, straight, strong options in their own right. But since Lucas is already so floaty, it's hard to wall out a character that can weave around your airspace so effectively. Maybe this matchup is even. <laughs> You're changing your mind on it the whole time. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know much about Lucas besides like basic counterplay, and like every these past couple weeks, Webb has just shown more and more of what this character can do. And oh man, you know it does honestly feel like this matchup has kind of taken a turn because uh, when Nair was a lot stronger, it was a much better option to go off stage. It was legitimately like a huge threat to Lucas because she could go super deep with, with him to do Nair and force him to uh, and knock him off and keep him off the stage using that. But now that Nair is a little impure and doesn't offer as much reward, you don't know if you want to take that risk most of the time. Yeah, and Palutena can still linger around uh, around lead with the. Severe lack in kill power and kill uh, kill potential thanks to the down throw and neutral air changes. Like yeah, there's still up tilt that can be set up at a decent frequency uh, thanks to falling there. Yeah, like it, living to 145 with uh, and potentially rushing that. Thankfully, he was able to land that up air. I should say thankfully. That is my bias. But he was able to land that up air, but if you have your opponent living till frequently 145 with the damage potential that Webb is shown to have with this character, like, you gotta, you gotta start fishing for kill options sometimes. Or at least pushing, pushing the envelope when you don't want to. Webb is just like, yeah, I know you guys are talking about matchup, but like, just watch me do these, all this damage, dude. Isn't it awesome? I'm just gonna do 110 damage, because I guess right, like, four times. <laughs> it's crazy. I wonder Apollo picked up this character. I think a lot of people have been thinking about it. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> she's so dead. And it doesn't matter where on stage you are, like, you get killed the latest by grab at center stage and taking the up throw, but at four throw at ledge kills at like 120, 130, back throw at ledge kills at 120, 130. So, uh -huh. Staying center really? stage gives you one extra neutral to lose. Still, that's only one. Yeah, on well, the latest you can expect uh, to stay alive against Lucas and get grabbed is like 150. It's very threatening, even if uh, it is a tether, which means that there's always risk associated. Did he leave a stock? Oh. I swore he was going to like, try and go for a back air there. Back air is stronger. I don't know if he was going to go down there, but he's clearly anticipating uh, Hydro over shooting it. Uh, so he can go directly to the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> you read it! Oh, but that <laughs> didn't kill. That's so good. That'll do it. That's so good. He's like, I know you're gonna do explosive flame because you've done it like multiple times. So I'm just gonna like pull out my little magnet and then just throw out my down smash. Uh, if Hydra had actually just gone directly for the recovery, he would have been fine. But because he went for the explosive flame to try to hopefully get a uh, web unawares, it ended up just completely biting him. And the explosive flame forced him to go low. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could have technically probably still survived that if he had uh, not gone directly to the ledge, but it's like when you're that low, you don't have that much extra like mobility to really risk that. Yeah. Like there's only so many like crazy angles you can do with Palutena's recovery that don't still get you killed. Especially since down uh, down smash is three hits. And he's sitting there on ledge. So you drift to ledge, you get hit by the third hit instead. Yeah. Like, the third hit might have been survivable because it does get progressive there quite a lot. But uh, it would have been very questionable whether you would have survived it or not because they actually buffed down smash significantly in this game compared to like the past two. 
that Lucas was in, where he, uh, where only the first hit was worth doing. And the other ones were like, yeah, you're just gonna take extra damage, who cares? Hmm. I didn't know they, uh, they buffed. Yeah, they made his, uh, down smash about as strong as Maybe a little bit weaker. But the uh, the trade off is that the um, the first only the first hit, mind you, it's stronger. But uh, right. the, the trade off is that the other hits don't have a hitbox after if it hits a shield or some other kind of uh, thing. Okay, same same kind of idea. Then. Yeah. As discussed prior with like yeah. Ugh. But back to Smash, where we go. It seems to be the, the stage, if any, that Hydra will be able to win on. Despite Web uh, playing super well on this stage, exactly beating Beast on it in all three, in at least two out of three games, uh, taking the set from Stretch on this stage and utilizing the full hop of the double jump to get PK to get Hydra back off of his ledge and. Letting him reset the stage. Dude, Something this is strange. What I found it kind of funny is how both of these players like to throw out a big chunk of the move when they're below the stage to try to catch their opponent at the lead. Uh, because initial dash, you're not allowed to shield immediately in it. It does kind of catch a lot of players if they're not paying attention to the movement and what their opponent's options are. I think there's like different levels of commitment between these two. This is something that they both like to do. At the very least, it's good to get them holding shield. And if they're holding shield, they're not putting a hitbox at ledge. Which, you know, don't try not to get too framed. If they hold, a sh if they're holding shield, that lets me grab a ledge, which at the very least gives me my jump back and another opportunity, to, an opportunity to recover. No, that's definitely true. So that's, uh, that's also why walking is pretty strong because now you're in you're in a pretty small area, so you're getting the same you're getting to a place at the same speed and positioning and spacing yourself even better because you're not moving it so fast. Mm-hmm. So, I think and also like you have to think about the matchup because if you're like playing Palo and you're trying to rely on explosive games to cover your recovery. You have to take into account the fact that Psy Magnet deactivates it almost entirely if Lucas uses it at the ledge. So you don't gain that protection anymore and you just reduce your movement options back in. As opposed to Lucas where he's going to go low regardless if he does it. And it's not like uh, if he hits your shield with it, it's still not you're not going to be stuck with it so long enough to not be able to get like some kind of uh, tip or tat in with that. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's that's fine. I'm just watching watching Webb pull off these conversions for the umpteenth time. They've lost their flair. Oh my god. Very nice. Yeah. Committing way too hard to that up smash, looking for yeah, anything that granted he has been doing PSI magnet and uh, jumping back on the stage frequently for the, for the past to for the past game and a half but the one time the roll comes out is the one time you're not ready for it that weather is very close to just closing off the set he needs to get like one or two more good hits and that's basically it or you could try to play the long game you don't want to fish for a kill if you're just close to winning unless you're 100 percent certain you're going to land it but also, like, Lucas Fair is minus two, so sometimes you can just, like, throw. Yeah, definitely. The, the casual, let me just space my safe kill aerial until it works. Oh, he got caught in the start of a PSI. Yeah. Well, no, it gives Hydra a chance, and if there's anywhere to start a comeback, there is it. Yeah, he's already halfway to, to death right now. Uh, if Hydra gets one good hit, ooh! That was pretty sharp. I gotta give Webb credit, like a lot, a lot of credit, that he has never actually DI'd in on any of those tilts that anyone has done on him at the ledge. Uh, and Hydra, unfortunately, teching out. Webb read it, and he got the dash attack set. Lucas runs speed fast to catch up with the tech rolling Palutena, but... 
Webb, after losing to uh, Louis Jesus in pools, fought all the way through, taking game after game, set after set, and ends up taking Zeno Wi-Fi number. Yeah, he even beat the guy that beat him in winners. So, you know, good stuff to him. Also, the shout-out to Louis Jesus, who's his first Wi-Fi tournament. You guys are good. Let's go, Louis Jesus. <laughs> but uh, he did really well. Uh, congratulations, everybody, that uh, entered, you know, uh, for the top four, if you're not currently subscribed, uh, please send us your Twitch, and we'll get you subscribed soon. And any from you who's watching, if you wouldn't mind uh, staying tuned for the commercials, you know, go brush your teeth and leave it on for a bit. We really appreciate it. It does help support House Direct. Uh, Devin, 